honestly, God bless Jew Law because this is absolute perfect casting. Hey guys, welcome back to Canon Cinema. I'm Amanda, otherwise known as AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Today, I will be reviewing the new Fantastic Beasts film in the franchise, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say that I do not support anything that she, who must not be named, has said on her own personal platform. I am a trans ally and I completely do not agree with what she's been saying so i just want to put that out there first and foremost the harry potter franchise has been a massive part of my life growing up i've made such wonderful friends along the way who've also loved this franchise and it's something that just stays with you and the magic stays with you and i think that the fantastic beasts films have lost that magic have lost that touch it's just not the same feeling as the og harry potter franchise there's just something missing and that is definitely the magic that was created during those eight films and it's really hard because there's so many great memories attached to this franchise and unfortunately people have to ruin certain aspects of it so it's always hard to revisit fantastic beasts and uh you know it, some things have damaged that magic on top of that so with the secrets of dumbledore it's not an entirely bad movie it's just with a two and a half hour long runtime you have to at least make this story interesting and i do think that she who must not be named should no longer write screenplays because whatever she had created as a story is not the equivalent of translating that to screen. If it was a book, it was a premise for a book, an outline for a book, that's completely different than translating that to a screenplay, as we've seen with many book adaptations. So the fact that she co-wrote it with Cloves and the story is by her, it just did not work. Like I thought that it was just so bland, uninteresting, and boring if it wasn't focused on Dumbledore. And honestly, God bless Jude Law because this is absolute perfect casting. I love him as Albus Dumbledore. I thought he did great work with this. Unfortunately, the screenplay, because it was literally all over the place, they tried to retcon Crimes of Grindelwald, which was an atrocious film in itself, and then add more to the world in this third installment. So there was way too much going on. And I was very confused the entire movie because also you have Dumbledore, you have Jew Law. He really is the central focus in this. And there was a story here. There was potential here. And I think that's what bothers me the most is because this is just more of like a throwaway. It feels like, okay, they tried, let's throw it away, but keep pushing. It's like they're not learning from their previous mistakes. Like, sure. Is Secrets of Dumbledore slightly better than Crimes of Grindelwald? Yes. I think it has a lot to do with the special effects, the addition of more magic, the addition of more creatures. And I think that they utilize the creatures a bit more in this film, whereas with Crimes of Grindelwald, it was just so much talking, political jargon, and used against Grindelwald and like I couldn't even tell you what happened in Crimes of Grindelwald because I, I just don't remember it. it like exited my brain the second I walked out of that theater but I feel like in this one anything to do with Dumbledore literally just like the ray of light that he always is that was the best part of the movie any scenes with Jew Law just save the damn movie because Newt Scamander is one of the most boring characters ever created I don't know why and then you're trying to mix these creatures in with the actual storyline of Grindelwald, which I did like. I liked what they were trying to do. So there was this creature in the film that would be able to tell if someone was pure of heart. They would assess their entire being and bow down to say like, this person is pure of heart. I liked that side of it. I absolutely loved Mads Mikkelsen as Grindelwald. It was fine. I mean, if you watch the first one, the first Fantastic Beast and come into Secrets of Grindelwald, you're really not missing anything other than the subplot of Credence. Now, I don't know what it was in this, but Ezra Miller was giving us 
nothing. They gave us nothing in this compared to what was given in Crimes of Grindelwald. And I and everyone's going to say, but that's Credence's characters. Like, no, no, no. There's nothing that was given. It was like a dead performance. And don't say that like Credence is dying anyway. It's like, no, no, no. Nothing the entire time. It just didn't flow. I felt like the editing was really bad. The lines that were delivered didn't make any sense within the same breath Dumbledore had said lines and then contradicted himself and it just didn't work for me I kept sitting there asking like but why would he say this if he said this before like I shouldn't be questioning the actual movie I shouldn't be questioning Dumbledore if saying that he was right or he was wrong or what he was even saying in the first place so I think that if they focused it more on Dumbledore and Grindelwald and just took Newt out of the equation, took Credence out of the equation, this would have been an entirely different movie and I think it would have flowed a bit better. So in regards to Grindelwald and Dumbledore's relationship, they did have a loving relationship that wasn't platonic. It is explored. Should there have been a flashback between the two of them when they were like together and dating? I personally think so. I thought that would have added so much more to their storyline. And it just felt a bit stiff. And they also didn't have that much chemistry. Maybe they're not supposed to because, you know, one's a bad guy, one's a good guy. But it felt like they were just placed there and they didn't have a history. Jula was trying his best, but... I feel like the direction for Grindelwald was that he was reserved and closed off, but he wasn't like yearning for Dumbledore in that way at all. So I think that if they did a flashback to kind of build that foundation and had that foundation of the fact that they were lovers previously, I think that would have been a bit beneficial to put everything into perspective when they did fight at the end of this. So I just... This could have been so much better. Was it better than the other two? I think so, because I just cannot stand the lead character of Newt's Commander. I can't. I don't think he's that great. Every single supporting actor in this movie, including the MVP of the show, Kowalski, he's so freaking good. I mean, give him the lead. He was so fun in this. And of course, when you present the muggle to this world, he's kind of out of his own comfort zone. It's always fun to dive into that. But I really love Kowalski energy with Dumbledore and with the new addition of Professor Hicks. I thought that they had great chemistry. They were really fun together. So I liked elements of it. I thought the magic was wicked in this. I thought the special effects were really strong. I loved you, Law and Mads Mikkelsen. Like Dan Fogler was great as Kowalski. So the supporting cast is what holds this together. So if we have Newt by himself, it's just not going to work. The creature's lovely. The Niffler is probably like one of my favorite things ever created. He's hilarious. Kind of balanced between the creatures and the intensity of what's happening with Grindelwald, which is also very confusing. So is it the worst in the Fantastic Beasts trilogy? No, I think it's the best one, to be honest. But that's really not saying much because the first Fantastic Beasts was like mid. Again, the supporting characters really made that movie. Crimes of Grindelwald felt like a crime against the Harry Potter fan base. So my final rating for Secrets of Dumbledore is probably a 2.5 out of 5. Not really that great but not that bad. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this one, if you think that they should stop making them because I have a strong feeling this is not going to do well at the box office and Warner Brothers is really going to take a hit with this one, unfortunately. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can always follow me over at AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep watching movies.